Welcome to Going 19, Episode 4. In this episode, we continue our discussion of Part 2 of 11-22-63, The Janitor's Father. I am Ed, with me are Kirsten and Amber. Let's start the show. Is that you or us? I don't even know. I think it was me. I accidentally left the page, but then I don't, there's no way for, I don't know if there's a way for me to join again. I don't know. Hit the text invite again, I guess. I don't, I don't know. No, that's so, true. I never thought about that. <laughs> did you see? So you saw the picture, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's like a 20 foot Paul Bunyan <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Did Banger actually, like, is that like a town icon? <laughs> I guess somebody built that monstrosity. I don't know why. Well, you if you see them, it, it's literally like I think the tour Amber did. We drove to the top of a parking garage, like five floors up, and you could see it, like you could, top of his head was like it. as high as that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was funny, yeah, it was a little ridiculous. Um, so, all right. Back on, yeah, I, I don't. I'm sure there's a history there, and I don't really care. I just think it, it's funny. Stephen King's like, only Derry would do that. Like, yeah. Oh, you mean the town you grew up in? <laughs> the town that's not Banger at all. No, I don't think so. But I think he hates Derry. <laughs> Does that make sense? No. Because uh, Derry is Banger. Isn't it? Banger uh, without the evil, I guess you'd say, or Banger without all the evil. Uh, Derry's based on Banger, but it's, pet- I mean, yeah, it is. It's I mean, has he done interviews where they've talked about the parallel? Maybe. I don't know. I think about I'm sure he has. And I'm sure his answer will be it's based on Banger, and that's about all you're going to get from him. He's definitely, yeah, he's answered that question before, or it's like, no, no, it's not. It's just, uh, yeah, based on loosely. <laughs> I like how Jake thinks that he looked like he belonged there after he buys his hat and the guy like moves it two inches to the side. He's like, now nah, you look like you did. <laughs> you went from looking like a, like a, uh, you know, outsider to a guy that belonged based on your, uh, Amber, tell me you picked up on the address, uh, for the Dunnings. Um, uh, Kirsten, did you pick up on it? What? Their address? You should be you should be in on all these clues by now. I'm not. Alright. 379 Cossett Street. Or yeah. however they say it. Cossett, I think is there with the accent. Yeah. So add it up. Oh, uh, 19. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay. That's all. It's 19. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> things, are going, things are going 19. Uh, there's, a, there's so many Easter eggs you throw in here. It's like almost hard to keep up with them. Yeah, that's why I'm like, at this point, you can pretty much expect every number combination is going to be 19 somehow or another. <laughs> He's at 206 something across the street, and I couldn't work that one in no matter how hard I try. <laughs> like, I get eight no matter what I do. I also don't really, I don't really know. Yeah, well, you should be looking for 19 at all times. And just, <laughs> just, just know that. What <laughs> happened? This happened. And this. And this too. Yeah. I like how he jumped down the whole writer, uh, reader uh, dynamic. Like, well, here's th- what happened, the reader asked. This is what happened. And one answer. Wait, wait. This is what happened. The writer responds. This and this and this too. Oh, yeah. Keep it simple. It's the only sure way home. Oh, okay. So then he's like, so I'll try. Although you must always keep in mind that in Derry, reality is a thin skim of ice over a deep lake of dark water. But still, what happened? This happened. And this, and this too. <laughs> I love the way he does that. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I mean, chinos are another one that I have no idea what they are, except they're for... Like- yeah, they're like khakis, I think. They are, but... 
they're they're kind of like khakis, but they can come in different colors. And instead they of going, they do have cuffs, but instead of going all the way to your bottom of your pant like they would normally, they usually are like just a couple inches shorter. Right, so you can see your cool socks. Yeah. That, I, that's total 1950s, like. But they're back now. I have, like general. I have I can picture like the oh, socials and the greasers like fighting that. each other and you know. The West Side. Uh, oh, we're making a comeback. Have you tried yogurt? Why did he spell yogurt with an H? Well, I, I think it used to be spelled with an H. I'm glad it's not there anymore. I don't like it. <laughs> Sunny uh, is the head butcher of. Yo. <laughs> Yog hurt, Yog saga. Wait, ever? Huh? The Dark Tower, Yog Yog saga. Say it again. Y O G dash S O G G O T H. I think that's Dark Tower. Maybe that's H P Lovecraft. Oh. I'm not sure. All right, all check. Um. All right. So he finds Dunning after searching. Wait, did I skip over Chaz Freddy? We haven't gotten there yet. Oh, okay. Um, so we find Stunning at the Putter, Dunning's real ladies' man. Um, I could, they were wait, they were talking about possible World Series matchups. I could have told them plenty about that. That could, have we talked about how he makes money yet? Have we gotten to that? No, no, he hasn't gone for real yet. So. Yeah, no, he just has Al's money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He I've... almost is through it though. Well, he's buying shiny red cars and <laughs> in his room for three hundred bucks when he's only staying there for six weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Frivolous. Quite. Um. So Frank, even Bevy thinks Frank is awesome. So he's a real uh, charmer, that guy. Yeah. Well, Bevy's. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. Bevy's had trauma. <laughs> Does that make her like Frank more? Makes her more susceptible to um, manipulative men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. If you think of it, that's yeah. We're not no. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Options. Go police. Not. <laughs> Say, how can you if you do something? I'll tell. Frame butcher for something. <laughs> Incapacitate butcher somehow. <laughs> Kill butcher. I think he needs to narrow down, uh, focus his options there. <laughs> you know. I mean, he well, did. he did. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, ah, frame him for something. For, I mean, <sighs> I don't see why he just didn't walk up and shoot him in the fucking head and get out of there. Thank you. Like, like Kennedy thing, I kind of get because it's like world shaking, and you're not sure if he's the one that did it, and who knows if he didn't do it, what's gonna happen? But this is just some scumbag that killed his dad. You know he did think, it. Well, I think he addresses that in the fact that he didn't verify that the story actually happened that way 100%. So I think that was part of the hesitation. Is like maybe he I, he definitely didn't need to wait until he was actually doing it to stop him, <laughs> but. <laughs> He also is delayed by the past. Bill's haircut. He delayed right. F being obdurate and puking his guts up for the entire day before. Yeah, but that is in the end, that isn't what stops him. What stops him is no suspenders. But he would have had, he would have been there earlier. Well, yeah, I guess but he had to he wait. Still, yeah. I don't see why he was standing across the street just waiting. For Frank to show up, like it. Right, he knew where Frank. I mean, I guess he he, he knew he go- where he was gonna be before he got drunk. <laughs> yeah, I like how Frank had a different place where he actually got drunk, and then he had the other bar where he drank two beers and left. Yeah, uh, the yeah, one also- where people could see him, and then the other secret one. Uh, <laughs> uh, unless I had amazing luck, I'd be caught in jail. Maybe that's why he doesn't shoot him in the head. I don't know. I feel like. I just don't understand because you can just go back to your little. You have to get to the rabbit. Not if he gets arrested, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but 
let's be realistic here. 1958. Yeah, he has a car, so he goes up, shoots in the head, gets in his car, drives the rabbit hole, goes through the rabbit hole. There's no way he's going to get stopped before then, like... Wait. Well, in a shiny red oh, car. Oh, yeah, 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 because he's like, uh, how many miles away? He's not right next to it, so... I don't know. Oh, um... Uh, Harry drives from Derry to Haven when he, after his family gets murdered or when he grows up, I forget exactly what he does. And he goes and lives in Haven for a while. Haven, Maine is where a book called Tommy Knockers takes place. So I missed that in the first part. So, <laughs> a little Easter egg. Okay. Uh, and it was, there was other shit that I put on my notes, but I'm not going to touch the phone right now because that didn't work last time. Uh, <laughs> so I meant to say that. Uh, one of my favorite books. Most people hate it. Which um, one? It's called Tommy Knockers. It's it's classic King, I guess I would say, where there's this side and that side, and they're fighting each other, and there's something really bad in between the two of them going on. That is kind of the reason they're fighting each other. <laughs> or well, not kind of. It is the reason. So. Um, so I like how he actually realizes uh, the whole purpose of this trip had been to find out what effect saving the janitor's family would have on the future I, I wouldn't know and I was already faced with having to do this again because there was one of those resets mm-hmm. where if I went back through the rabbit hole to stop Oswald like Jesus Christ so he He's gonna have to go do this, buy another car, live for eight weeks, uh, you know, avoid no suspenders, hopefully this time. Like he's gonna have to like kill this guy again. Although he didn't technically kill him the first time, I guess. Well, you know what I was thinking? Well maybe we should wait until he get there, never mind. About no suspenders guys, I don't know. <laughs> uh, he just showed up on my page. It was no suspenders again. So I was like, Oh, I missed I missed the first time he showed up. Yeah, that guy. If, he only, if only he would have put suspenders on. Do you think... I mean, I have to go back and read what the story said. Do you think that he was the neighbor that came in and saved him? If he was watching... You know, he may not have been watching him that night, though. I don't know. Wait, if he was keeping an eye. Me. Remember, the only reason why Harry was saved was because somebody came in and stopped him. Oh, I know what you're saying. Do you think that he could have been watching him? Oh, he or... on blood is what saved them. And then people came in, like neighbors. Okay, yeah. But the dad would have killed him afterward, after he slipped. <laughs> so you, you're saying you just turk out the neighbor? I said, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Is that... He's out of hand. I didn't get that impression, but that made me wonder, like, if that did that happen in the original timeline, or did that happen because Jake was fucking with shit? That's also what I was thinking too, because remember he said he heard the mom say something different. Yeah, I said, well, I think Harry's memories forty years later were a little, you know. That right. That's why I was like, that could never... easily be a kid remembering it wrong. What? You were like, I think Harry's memories years later were a little, and I said, Harry. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Get it, oh. Harry. I used to have a landlord. His, his, his name was Harry Johnson. Like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh you gotta change your name. Like, I don't know how you go around town with that. <laughs> right. Maybe she was, I don't know, Regina, Harry Regina. I don't know. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so that's a terrifying thought that he's gonna have to go back and do this again. Well, well that's what we've been saying the whole time. Right? Hopefully, this time he just goes to Derry, shoots him, and then goes to where he's you know, like, yeah. take care of Oswald. He well, but, but he's and that's really going to have to make sure that he doesn't get caught uh, that time if he's staying there until 63. Yeah, I just thought of that. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's going to have to get away. He's going to have to plan a lot better, I think. But he also has a lot of it time mean- between the two, so he could, like, and it's a, I think it's a, it would be a lot harder in that day and age. Does he have to take Carol and Poole in? I don't know. And Carol and Poole. That's what we were talking about. A lot of time. If he wants to, he can fall through. He's a lot. When did Ellen die? I don't remember that. She died later. 
She got. She, she was in a coma for three weeks. So he knocked her on the floor and I like, because he didn't hit her with a hammer, right? He just kind of pushed her out. Of the car. And uh, in the second time, not the first time though. No, when Jake's there, I mean. Right, he pushes her. Tough, well, yeah, he doesn't, tough to her. he doesn't injure her when when Jake intervenes. The first time, he does. The blood, the pain, the blood, the little carrot top lying on the floor under the rocker. Leave me alone, daddy, or I'll shoot you. I hate you, chair, I told it, then went to bed again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but... Uh... Okay, maybe not. I, I felt like I missed the part where she got fucked up. But, uh, yeah, I was trying to find the story in the first part. Ten bucks for a gun, no waiting list. Well, that was a different time. Huh? Uh, I do like all of those little, like, Kirsten, you were saying the differences with the money. I like the differences in just, like, security and things like that. He's like, I can just walk out of here with a $10 gun? Like, what the hell? And he's like, well... So he did tell me that Al's or Al told me that Oswald's gun was less than twenty dollars. Different time. I mean, this was before Kennedy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just really cool to see the, the um, comparisons and the contrast between the times. I feel like he should have confronted those suspenders because he's seen them three or four times. You know, like okay, like. You're about to go do something really crazy, so maybe you don't want this guy following you. That's, like, all of these things that he picks up on and these little things he notices, and it's, like, he gets this sense, and it's, like, how are you that dumb? <laughs> Thank you. Jake is dumb. That's, I, it's literally a bullet point on my paper. It's Jake not, is dumb. It's not like he, like, time travels every day. He's, he's, okay, he's, but he's still getting used to it. It's not about that, though. It's, like, how are you observant in everything? Well, it's because it's a story. Like, how are you observant in everything except for those things? <laughs> like a deus ex machina in reverse. <laughs> Right, ex <laughs> Uh He was once more looking reet in dark slacks, white shirt, blue tie. What the hell does that mean? R e e t. Where are we? Uh, one sixty three, halfway down. He was once more looking reet. Yeah. And by the way, wait, Frank Dunham. I oh know Wichman Jackson is Georgia, right? Frank Dunning is a Kansas and Wichman. Is a good whistler. I don't know what reek is. And I, I don't know look where you Oh, looking at reek. <laughs> Not anything that I'm thinking. All right. I know, yeah, I, I got nothing on that one. Uh, once more entered the time killing phase of our program. I guess you better get, <laughs> better get used to that if you're going to go live for five years in 1958. Right. You don't think about that, though. It's like, okay, like you're all amped up. Like, I'm going to go save Harry's family. Like, we're okay. In two months, in, in two months, uh, just pretend like they, everything's going up till then. Anybody know what a bowl more machine is? Mm, On the next page, top of one sixty four. No. Uh, he took one man's hat and scaled it to a guy standing at the bowl more machine. Who caught I, it? Yeah, I see it. I don't know what it is. Yeah, is that like one of those like bar bowling things? With the sand and the little thing like the. I guess they don't have them in bars anymore. Maybe it's just a bowling alley. Nah, I mean, well, it says machine. So. Oh. Wait, where does it say machine? Oh, mach- oh, sorry. I'm looking at the second one. Yeah, you're right. Um. Oh, wait. Chaz Freddy tells him to go check out the Kitchener Ironworks. Mm. Oh, for the uh, for the mall that he's for the pers- real estate. For. Yeah. Oh, what self-respecting real estate developer would not check out the uh, Kitchener Ironworks? Oh, it's the thing that sets up the pins. The like the the thing that grabs it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. And like clears the whole area. So it is a bowling alley. They're just drinking beer there? I right to hang out in the middle of the bowling lane or something like <laughs> They're chilling. Right? <laughs> he was a very amusing fellow and it never crossed my mind that he was anything other than what he claimed to be. Wow, way to give that away. Where? Real quick, can we go back right before section eight? I thought that was interesting where they talk about the smoke. Like what exactly is he 
referencing there, do you think? Because everybody smokes cigarettes. Literally everybody. Yeah, so cigarettes. he's like... Okay, okay, so it's not a... Where you go, there's, there's always... always and he's an ex-smoker, so I feel like he's one of those people that really hate smoke now. So, like, whenever he talks about smoking, he, like, talks about a little gross and yucky and all that, and, you know, yet this was the same guy that walked down to the Red Apple every day to buy his pack of cigarettes. <laughs> You know what the red apple is, right? I do. I know you. You're the one I'm talking to. Yeah. Someone did sedentary banger, whatever you want to call it. I think the cat just pooped. <laughs> Gotta work for something. Is that a, a euphemism? Not right. right. <laughs> Pass out pooping. It's all over now. <laughs> it came up four F, which means you can't join the war. I'm not real sure. I don't. I know I've heard that, but I don't remember what that means. Yeah, I'm assuming it's some kind of ranking. Like, you need to be at least 4D. Yeah. No, I think, I know there are certain things, like, if your eyesight or your hearing isn't at a certain level and things like that, you you aren't, or at least you didn't used to be able to join. He was giving me the cheerful chipmunk grin, but his eyes weren't smiling. That is a Stephen King favorite. He already Smile. said that. Uh, is, yeah. Well, he said he, it again. Uh, no, I was going to say he already said that about Frank. That was one of the first things he noticed is he's smiling, but his eyes are not. <laughs> yeah. Nobody yeah. ever has a uh, smiling eyes in the Stephen King movie. <laughs> well, not in Derry. <laughs> um, I didn't want to overthink that. Uh, sound like a, I could go either way on that one. That sounds like little bits of fried lobster, like breaded. So, I, mean, I don't know. It's, I, I guess the name. The way it was a giant heaping yeah. plate of like lobster pieces I was a yeah, big fan I kind of. of it and, uh, like, and, except instead of octopus or squid or whatever, it's lobster, but. No, they are in Maine. I don't know. It just sounds gross. Lobster pickings. Like, it sounds like you took out all the rejected parts of the lobster, fried them, and then <laughs> just the beef on the I think that's exactly what, what it is. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of, you're lucky you got any food yet, drunk. <laughs> oh. All right, and it's probably salty, so they drink more beer. Oh. Hurricanes Connie and Diane, I don't know, if, I'm assuming those were real hurricanes. I didn't bother to look that up. No. Uh, Frank Dunning, who's about to go murder his family, goes, <laughs> goes to his parents' cemetery and puts uh, flowers on their graves, which I thought was interesting. I... Do you do you know for a fact that those are his parents' graves? No, I know as much as you do. There's a question mark. <laughs> 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 uh, I was wondering if that was more representative. I mean, obviously he's not gonna <laughs> bury his dead wife and child in the open, but when they said two and and then you find out that you know they went missing i'm like oh that seems connected <laughs> i didn't even think about that That's a good point. you mean is it his first wife and, and child. child well they've never officially been found they're just missing Did That's they... why I, I said obviously he's not gonna bury them in the cemetery <laughs> well no most people think that they ran off i know that <laughs> but they didn't they're dead we obviously I'm picking up on that. We know that, but is there a grave for them if they're only missing? No, that is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, what are you trying to say? That is are they connected somehow? Like is he actually is it related to his wife, his dead wife and child and not his parents as he assumed it was? Basically, like I think what she's saying is did he bury his first wife and child there and just label mm, it as no like, no 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 i don't think they're buried at the cemetery that he's not that dumb uh -huh. what i'm saying is um jake assumed that the flowers were for his parents but maybe he wasn't even going there for an actual grave site or maybe he was pretending it was for his parents but it's for his ex-wife and or you know deceased wife and child so <laughs> he's secretly mourning right or they're connected in some way like i didn't think it was his parents I guess. That's what I'm saying. He could have, he could have like had them buried there, or that's just like and just replace the headstone. And misnamed. That's true too. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like it could be his parents' headstone, but really, well, he like where would he put his parents' bodies? 
he could have kept them there. Hey, man, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Oh, there. yeah, that's true. It's six feet down. There's plenty of room in there. That's what I'm saying. He could have buried them on top. I didn't even think that, yeah. Everybody all at once. <laughs> all right, I got a schedule to keep. I yeah, can't be visiting like, all these places. Hey, mom, hey, dad, what's up? Ex wife. <laughs> Better make room for more. Yeah. <laughs> when you bargain with someone, it was absolutely okay to say that you drew them down. Penny candy included dots, wax flips, and I don't even want to say that word. Uh, okay. And then Jake makes it to the kitchen or iron work. Uh, now, Amber, do you remember? Was it Mike that was in that pipe with the big giant bird? Yes. That was, this is the same pipe, right? Uh, yeah, because he uh, why was he? That he was, was, no, wasn't that Stan? Was it Stan? Oh, Stan was the bird watcher, so that would make sense. Mike uh, was a fire. The fire at the black spot. Yeah. Which, uh, so the Kitchener Ironworks, but that burned down too or something, didn't it? Mm. What does it wait, did Jake say what happened to it? In the middle was a long collapse smokestack blackened by soot. So, yeah, it burned too. Unless they're the same, but I don't... Um, I do remember that he was out by the old ironworks stand. That he was bird watching, yeah. And then he... I don't it was remember... Like a, it, was a, it was a giant, like, phoenix or something. Yeah, was... well, spoiler... <laughs> Well, I'm not going to tell you what it did. But, I mean, <laughs> Phoenix didn't really spoil it. Big bird, big Phoenix, you know. Well, that's um, not what I meant. I just meant, yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm, there's there's no way to get through this part without a little bit of that. So I think we did a pretty good job, though. Um, yeah. uh, what's a juju fetish? Anybody? Uh, the crown of thorns. Wait, I have to back up. The te- uh, 179. One day I saw a roughly carved Jesus go floating down the canal and into the tunnel that ran beneath Canal Street. It was three feet long. The teeth peeped from lips parted in a snarling grin. Oh, Jesus, oh, yeah, was, that's now. Jesus was snarling. Especially the fact that, that it's three feet on. long. Do you know how big that is? <laughs> yeah. that's big. Jesus, that's big. Uh, that's more than half of Bloody tears. Oh yeah. Yeah, it, it looks like a juju fetish. I don't. I, what's it? I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Huh? Yeah, I don't think I want to look it up because I think it's gonna make me uncomfortable again. Mm-hmm. Um, the kissing bridge in Bassey Park. I wonder if that's. Didn't we go across a bridge over the canal? When? On the tour. Oh. And I think yeah. Stu, Stu might have called that the kissing bridge or something. Yeah, but we the canal been... is a lot smaller and banger <laughs> than what I picture in Dairy, at least. Uh, right. Adrian Mellon would not oh, have... Oh, uh... wait. That actually makes a lot more sense. What? Juju fetishes are charms with finite lifespans created for the purpose of aiding or harming the possessor. So it's like a voodoo doll? Kind of. Which makes a lot more sense because the thing looks creepy. Yeah. Yeah, where did he get that from? That's what I'm thinking. How does he know what that is? <laughs> not that. No, where, where, where did he... I guess... I mean, it's not... Where in his imagination did that image come from? Like, what, what prompted that? But, I'm uh, sure he saw something like that. <laughs> a crown... A, a, just... I, I want to see a Jesus with a snarling grin. That kind of looks like... Uh, I, to me, oh I read that as God. the the viewer's interpretation like because he talks about that a lot or the few times when he mentions like jesus statues or like images it's like the this like sinister look as opposed to you know one that would be comforting (laughs) do any yeah do any of these things bear on the story i'm telling i don't know but i can tell you one more thing there was something inside that chimney at the kitchener ironwork i don't know what and i don't want to know but at the mouth of the thing, I saw a heap of gnawed bones and a tiny chewed collar with a bell on it. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. So this is 1958. So something ate a dog in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's just creepy. And he does, you know, did you notice? Uh, 
in it. When it's the kids, it, the whole thing's in italics. When it's the adults, it's regular font. So when the thing's talking to them, it's all in italics. Uh, I don't True, know. But I also think that's just how he does voices in people's heads. Well, yeah, he, uh, it's not like he's never done that before. Jay I guess he could have done it in that. quotes, but... Yeah, Jay and Sean bitch about that all the time. All his characters talk to themselves. I don't have all these people in my head. I'm like, well, you're a real person. <laughs> so, I mean, like, I talk to myself all the time, though. I talk to myself. I don't yeah, have... Yeah, I was going to say, everybody has internal thoughts, so that's I mean, not I don't, true. Right, I don't get a lot of answers from other people. That, like, he does a lot. Like, the answer didn't come from inside. It seems to come from another voice that he's never heard before. Like, like, like he's... He, uh, to me, it's just, Actually, it's I, just dialogue. It drives the plot to let you know what he, what's going on in his head from a more neutral perspective, I guess you'd say. That, and I also like that it gives you an, an, a different form of uh, conveying what's going on. So instead of just reading what people are saying or reading what's happening, you get to see you know what's happening in their head, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so just, he thought this, and then he thought this, and then he thought that. Like, having a conversation... <laughs> makes it you know kind of more interesting Drive the plot I, for me it makes it i kind of hear it in a different voice you know what i mean like it sounds mm-hmm. creepier like yeah yeah some of the, some of the people definitely uh like, like talk in their own voices in in the characters heads so you, you know, you'll just see it as a different person why is why is portal not italic well obviously it's meant to be important in this paragraph but why i just noticed that another this... portal huh. uh, like is it lying to him like this isn't or i think that's putting emphasis on it right so what is he saying to me that almost is like portal quote unquote like is he saying the one he came through is not a portal or is he saying that this is what i'm like <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, it's a good point. Um, I think he's saying one portal at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go all awful inception and go in a portal and a portal and a portal. Uh, but this portal definitely feels icky. Um, and yeah, like I left in a hurry. Into that part of Derry, I never went back. Yeah. Oh, did you see where he says though? I don't think so. I think it was dairy in there. Everything wrong with it. Everything askew, hiding in that pipe. Hibernating. Letting it believe the... Yeah, people believe the bad times are over. Well, that's yeah. exactly what it was doing. Right. And that's what... Yeah. So, wait. Didn't you say that Pennywise comes back every 27 years? <laughs> so, it would be coming back in 2012 if... They didn't kill it. Obviously, they didn't. That's what this is hinting at. This is 1958. There's 27 yeah. years before that, though. They didn't kill it in 1958. I can already tell you that. That's not really a spoiler. Oh, I thought this was after that happened because the kids were like, oh, the bad times are over now. How many yeah. years are in between yeah. 1958 and 2012? Is that 27 the- years? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's that's not. Right. No, 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 not 19. No, 85 and 20, 2012. That's my point. That's not 27 years. So there's one more round in between those two. Right. Yeah. So he comes back every 27 years. So this is 58. But my, my point being... They think it's over, yes. Yeah, and clearly it's not based on that. Clearly. So if the ending... I don't know if I didn't read the book, but if the ending of it, it ends in them supposedly killing it obviously they didn't because this this is it's clearly still alive based on this okay uh <laughs> in it, they have book. to go back as adults and deal with it again uh, that's okay. in 1985 that's what we're saying so got it okay, okay. It, it's I, it's I they don't know but we know that they didn't kill I, it yeah I got it I got it okay I like how he says but we don't I didn't, well never mind never mind nothing. I mean the book starts with it's back you need to come back that's like, not what I was going to say at the end uh, of it I feel like there's a I, I, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not I'm not convinced but right, you know so right. far so who's to so say it's far, not coming back, back in 2012 <laughs> like in 1958 the heyday of James Mansfield full breasts are considered attractive or oh yeah 
yeah, I get that. I was like, uh, is there they a time fired? when they weren't? Like, was... yeah. <laughs> Uh, but maybe I'm being sexist on that. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, what page are you okay. Yeah, I'm, 181 oh. or 81. I'm on 183, just kind of scrolling along. I think uh, it's time for Jake and No Suspenders to meet up. Um, I guess the past being obdurate was his stomach bug I don't know I've never had a stomach bug for 24 hours it sounded like what he was going through that sounds awful well yeah, that was weird I've had stomach bugs for 24 hours but they're not usually that violent right the past is not one to be changed the past is obdurate even later on he said the obduritic past or something like that yeah. I'm like god damn it yeah. <laughs> By then, both of my ejection ports were producing nothing but watery gruel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good image. With words. <laughs> yeah, you should write some of that shit down. Huh? Uh, well, you know, Sean um, and Jay have that section, what do they call it? Um, the gr- fun stuff? No, the gross one. Um, oh, I haven't made uh, that up. Oh, gross. maybe that was only in the stand. It was a section where it was like... They had, they had a name for it, like squeeze, squeam, uh, squeezed, up, something like that. But it was like all of the disgusting stuff that he writes about. <laughs> oh like, no, they didn't do that in uh, Dark Tower. Not, it's not yet, and I'm on book six. Yeah, I so. think they did the stand later on, so I think that was something new they added. Yeah. Okay. Then he sees Keen again. So I was thinking Keen was the guy at the hat store, but he wasn't. He was at the drugstore. So um, yeah. And this is where Keen's a complete well, asshole. To him. This is what I'm saying. He's not. I don't think he's an asshole. Like he's just saying, like he's just telling him that people are in sick in town. And then he says, "I don't think you're gonna need them because you're probably gonna have to go to the bathroom pretty soon." Like, how is that him being an asshole? <laughs> I don't know. It, he came off like a dick when I read it the first time. Like, like he even asked him, "Like, why?" I felt like you. Are you grinning at me? Like, hey, I, I you, he's ready. laughing at him, but that's just. And the I mean, guy's like about to shit himself. He's like, "Can I use your bathroom?" He's like, "Nope, not yeah. for customers." Sorry. They would do that in DC, so it <laughs> doesn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah. Well, but, yeah. There's people in. There's I don't even ask. <laughs> um, it's all no spenders again. Do I look like fucking Bridie Murphy? Don't know who that is. No, or real quick, going back to Keen, the one thing that I did think was strange when he said. Um, when he said oh yeah yeah we, oh, we mentioned that but when he said why are you grinning at me and then he said he took a step backward and the smile fell and then he said I wasn't grinning I hope yeah. certainly hope you feel better I assure like, well, you what did he say I assure you I wasn't grinning grinning like what is that uh, why is it hell, boy? I guess that's just emphasizing not, words not just I, that no but like that whole that that part of the interaction confused me. Like the first part of it, he's a little rough around the edges, whatever. That's dairy, right? And then he, you know, Jake is like, "What the hell, man? Why are you being such an asshole?" And then he's like, "Whoa, I'm not being an asshole. I hope you feel better." <laughs> like well, I don't right. get that. He did his like professional voice. Yeah. Like I, I wasn't grinning. I hope you feel better, sir. Have a nice day. <laughs> like, like, can I use your bathroom? Bathroom is not for customers. Sorry. I kind of wonder. And then he's maybe... watching them. Maybe it's a what? part of people in Derry don't act like that. <laughs> well, yeah, and he runs across the street to take a shit, barely makes it, and, you know, and what does the guy say? The guy calls him out. And he's like, I assure you, it looked, it it's smelled like that when I got there or something. Yeah. <laughs> but then Keen is watching him across the, uh, when he comes mm-hmm. out of the uh, thing. Like, what does that mean? Um, his smile was gone, man. Oh, that's because he wasn't grinning in the first place. So that's one of those things where it's like, yeah. it's almost ambiguous because I can't tell, okay, is this just because he's a part of Dairy and everybody is Dairy and suspicious of everybody all the time? Does he know something like the yellow card, orange card man? Like, like is there something else going on? Like, Bill? <laughs> yellow card, orange <laughs> card man. The yellow orange card. Right. I think that makes him red. <laughs> Opaque. I found it interesting that he put that whole TV listing on there. I didn't know if that was relevant. TV? 
Uh, one ninety. Oh, that him. Yeah, him looking at the guy. Yeah, hey, now too. The new adventures of Ellery Queen, George Nader. Yeah. Like, like, I don't like. Why do? Why, yeah, why are you telling me that? And that Funa Jello. Anybody know who that is? Who? Mm. Funa Funa Jello. She was Frankie Avalon, I think. And then that Funa Jello, they were like, she was a Musketeer, and then they were like, and they did all the beach movies in the fifties. Oh, the interaction, the the costume that the girl wants. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The little no, mouse The I'm days not. of candy doctored with LSD were far in the future. I don't remember those days. Right, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, I mean, not anymore, but there was a time where I'd have been all that. Well, we made our own. Usually, <laughs> usually it was just sugar cubes, but we didn't get the full-on candy. <laughs> um, I brought out a payday. I held it up and considered poor old J. Alfred Pew. Prue Frock. I have no. I guess that's the guy that makes paydays. I have no idea who that is. Um, uh, and and yeah, Jake's stupid. Why didn't he fucking eat something before he went? Yeah. Boy. Oh, fuck. Uh, Amber, can you hear me? Uh huh. Okay. Sorry. I'm Michelle. Well. You didn't do it. They died. Oh, they did. Yeah. Oh. So. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I can barely hear you. We're almost there. I know. It's almost over. All right. Just keep going. Like I said, it sounds perfect on the thing, even if we have a little trouble hearing you. So. Um, All right. So where's... I can go over there and get the thing behind my iPod. Thank you. Or get that iPods, AirPods, whatever the hell they're called. This? Yeah, yeah, that. Where's this? Pick one. Well, that wasn't a very good job of picking. That wasn't a very good job of picking. I don't want to be held responsible. You know, especially considering he was, I guess, that interaction didn't go so well at the pharmacy. But I, I was reading to figure out that he goes straight from there to Frank's house like why didn't he get something to eat like he could have gotten something at the pharmacy <laughs> yeah well he did have the stomach bug I was gonna say I got the impression he didn't eat because he was afraid it was gonna go right through him well he gobbled down that payday <laughs> you sure well yeah I mean so it was kind of a weird dichotomy Somebody, not to get into that but I, I understand that like if you get sick and then you get rid of the toxin then your body needs more fuel <laughs> yeah but he might have been afraid that like I know for me if I was going anywhere after what happened I probably wouldn't eat either because I'd be like I don't want to take the chance that I'm going to projectile vomit or have to die or maybe so I, eat a lot I, I would agree a, with go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, I would agree with that, except for the fact that he flat out says, crap, I forgot to eat. I didn't think about that. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I, I... Uh... Oh, 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 oh. I remember what happened at the Ironworks. That was where the Easter egg hunt was when they had that big explosion. That was one of the years where, like, you know, 27 years ago. Right. Like the black spot was the one time, and then the right. Ironworks was another time. Yeah, yeah, that was like the beginning of the 1900s. Okay. 